Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Quest for Glory 2, Trial by Fire. Let's continue to be glorious, and I believe this is going to be the final episode. Now, I actually had to completely redo the last episode because I think that I took too long to get through to this point before. Um, so, let's, uh, let's see if we can... Uh, Do it this time. Break door. Break door. Alright. Now let's go ahead and... Uh... Nope. Alright, it is the exact same place that I was before, so I guess not. Damn it! Ah! Urgh. No. Okay. So that was kind of a waste of time. It doesn't look like we need to actually do anything. So I'll try f casting a force bolt. I should have tried that earlier, I suppose. Alright, fight! Cast, force, bolt. There we go! You! You will pay! By the powers of all darkness, by the power of my name! Shall your soul be mirrored outward, shall your body be the same! Oh, crap. Kavin will enjoy having you for his very own, but I doubt that you will live very long. You will pay for preventing me from releasing Iblis. Damn it. You will pay! <sighs> so that's the, uh, that's why you need the spell of reversal, and I guess that's what he does if you, um, cast a spell. He automatically assumes that you're a wizard. See? We know some big words. Your transmogrification by incantation presages your ex expiration, but your instigation prevented devastation by Iblis's domination. That is, you saved the world, but all you got for it was a, was Saurus breath. Next time, take a moment to reflect before you enter the situation. All right, so I could do it another way. Let's. Uh, I wonder if I th maybe throw a knife. Um, I do have a knife. All right, fight. Escape. Throw dagger. All right, is he going to do the same thing? Yeah, he's going to do the same thing. All right. I kind of want to get a get the fighters ending. I mean, if I can't do it, then I will end up just uh, going for the wizard's ending. Alright, let's go ahead and escape. Oh, come on. Arr. Uh, all right, hold on a second. I got to pause this. Okay, so <clears throat> the problem is, is that I completely forgot that uh, if you are 
playing a fighter with any sort of magical ability, you cannot actually do the fighter ending. It, it assumes that if you have magical ability, you are a wizard. So, let's go ahead and try this again. Run up here. And cast... Stupid genie. Cast reversal. You're now protected by the power of reversal. Break door. There we go. Alright, now what we need to do again here is... I have triggered a magical statue, A eh? Cast... Trigger. See, if you're a fighter, that... Uh... Uh, that's not supposed to go off yet. Um... That's it, boss! <clears throat> Wait, what voice did I give him? Shoot, I've been doing research for like 20 minutes now, and I've forgotten what voice I did for him. That's it, boss! Now stop those candles! Alright. Yes, I'm working on it. Cast... Force... Bolt... Alright. You can also fetch it. You, you will pay by the powers of all darkness, by the power of my name. Shall your soul be mirrored outward? Shall your body be the same? Whee! Ha! So the hero has a reversal spell. Well, well, there's a way around that. Cast Force Bolt. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on it. I just... There we go. And we immolate him. We did it! Hooray! <coughs> oh, man. Out of East's voice always makes me do that. At least right now. Thank you, Master. Now I can take Iblis back to his tomb where he will be safe for another thousand years and, and a year. Oh, crap. So, so I'm going to have to be resurrected then and do this all over again. Oh, God. Bastards. I knew I would remember it. The real prophecy is, One thousand years and a year, so shall Iblis be caught in the tombstones of the city where he and I once fought. Until Moonlight has been captured twixt, twixt the Scorpion and Drake, then comes a hero from the north with ancient powers wake. And ancient powers wake. Led and followed by a dark one, guided by to deceit and despair, passed through the trial by fire, trials of air, earth and uh, water... Earth and air, passing through the door unopened, barrier that yields to none. By my name of Suleiman, so shall this be done. Come at last unto betrayal, and to he who waits behind. Seek ye then to capture Iblis, ere he rises unconfined. Else shall come the night eternal, darkness overshadows light, unless a hero seeks the darkness and restores the wrongs to right. Bye bye, master. It's been fun. With the help of the slave woman Mazan, you found the emir Ali hiding in his bedroom. With your urging and a few sharp remarks from Mazan, the emir swore he'd restore the city. By the first light of dawn, the emir Ali al-Din Hassan ordered all fighting to cease and proclaimed the evil rule of Adavis and Kavin to be over. As the emir began an incredibly dull speech, you slipped away to complete your quest. You stand beside the cracked and dry fountain in Rasir's Plaza of the Fountain. You hold in your hands the water skin containing the water elemental that you captured so long ago in Shapir. It was only like two weeks, come on. It wasn't even two weeks, I don't think. The elemental under your command is released into the fountain for everyone to drink her. Seems almost cruel. Oh, uh, maybe she's just restoring the water. No, no, actually she's going in. Oh, wow! You stare and wonder at the power, powerful transformation of the uh, something or other. Sweet. Hey, guys! Can I have your carpet? Seriously. It seems like such a handy thing to do. Have. The Sultan personally sent me to return you to Shapir. Uh, you should probably sit down, hero. Ah! Splat. The Palace of the Sultan. Oh, thou shalt stand before 
The Sultan Harun. Will anyone speak for the stranger from the north? Oh, come on. Give me time to speak. We shall speak for Ald. Ooh. Hello up there in the on the balcony. We are Shemin and Shima, keepers of the Kata's Tail Inn. When the Kata were driven from Asir, we journeyed to the Northland in search of a hero. We met Ald. Through his courage and skills, he restored the Baron's son and daughter and banished the wicked Baba Yaga. Eh, it was nothing. I'm sure I'll never see her again. He became hero of Spielberg. He journeyed back with us to Shapir. Here, he defeated the elementals of fire, air, earth, and water to save our city. It was nothing. He is a true hero. No, really, it was nothing. Mmm, ladies. Who shall speak for this hero of Spielberg? I shall speak for Ald. I am Walid, a guard of the palace and a member of the Eternal Order of Fighters. This man vanquished me in a fair fight and demonstrated great skills in combat. Incidentally, if you did choose to kill him, you wouldn't actually kill him. When I lay helpless upon the ground, he was given orders by the members of EOF to kill me. Instead, he showed me mercy. This man is a true hero. Who will speak for this man of mercy? I shall speak for Ald. I am the Enchantress Aziza. This man of my of his own free will went into the desert and sought the plant woman Julinar. Through his kindness and compassion, he allowed Julinar to forget the pain and suffering of her past and to again face life with joy. This man also fought, found a caged beast in the desert. Though it was wicked and most foul, all turned aside its wickedness and restored its humanity. Which was still pretty wicked, though. We shall hope it may learn from the kindness of the hero. But probably not. This man is a true hero. Have you... Why? What was the cheek touch? Wait, were you just checking to see if I had a 5 o'clock shadow? You were, weren't you? Who will speak for this man of compassion? I shall speak for Ald. Hey, you made it out! And why are you still half naked? I am Zaisha, daughter of the Emir Ali al Din Hassan. In order to escape the repression of my homeland, Rasir, I asked this stranger for aid. At the risk of his own life, he helped me escape from the city. Ah, it was it was really no risk. The, those those guards were pansies. He is a true hero. Who will speak for this man of courage? I really don't remember the Gronk. I I don't think that quite counts. Then let him have a voice that he may speak. Oh yeah, that's right. You're still wearing a saddle there. You offer a dispel potion which was prepared by I don't know. And he's still wearing the saddle. When Adavis transformed me into a Saurus, I lost all hope of returning to my own form. Gronk. I mean, <clears throat> yet this man showed me his courage, kindness, and honor, and I knew that Ald would restore me. Who will speak for this man of honor? The Sultans shall speak for Ald. Uh, where is the Sultan? I am ha Harun al-Rashid, Sultan of the Land of Shapir. I am the poet Omar, teller of tales for all to hear. Ah! You were lying to me by the words which have been spoken, by the deeds that have been done. I proclaim this man a hero. And now I will call this man my son. Y you know, you wouldn't have to do this if you just married. Is there anyone now who will speak for the son of the Sultan? I really don't remember what voices I gave these guys. I shall speak for Ald. Can I have your sword, please? Flame Tongue would be super awesome. This man has shown great courage in the face of da great danger. Kindness to those in need, generosity of the poor. Honesty in dealing with others and mercy to his enemies. Unless, of course, they were jackalmen or brigands. He is a man of great honor. I, Rasha Rakish Satarna. Give to all my sword, Soul Forge. Ooh, yay! You are now a paladin. 
Yay, flaming sword! Ooh, hehe! <laughs> I do get the sword. Awesome. It is... Congratulations, Paladin! Score 543 of 550. Uh, I think I missed something somewhere. Crap. What did I miss? I might have forgotten to say, ask the genie about wishes when I redid that room. Hmm. Oh well. It seems like a, a theme that I'm getting, I'm running here. I'll miss one point thing in each game. I don't know. But I've become a paladin! Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! I can import a paladin into the next game! Although, I'm not sure if you can do it in the next game, but I know in 4 you can automatically convert your character into a paladin. If you have not already done so, we encourage you to play Quest for Glory 2 again with the other two character types. Many of the puzzles are different, or have alternate solutions. And I think I am going to go back and do the Thief's ending, simply because it is rather amusing. And I'm not sure if I've ever actually seen it, my, like, played through it myself. I'm almost always a fighter with magical ability. In the meantime, you are already a winner! Yay, a winner is me! Please insert a writable disc in your floppy drive. Oh, damn it! I have no floppy drive! <sighs> Screwed. Can't, can't import. Oh, well. To save your winning hero for use in Quest for Glory 3, Shadows of Darkness. Eh. Sorry. That game will not be played today. Uh, let's see. A, Glory 2. Yeah, not A. Uh, let's do C... Thank you. Saving character. The save character file has been created. Save this disc for use with Quest for Glory 3 Shadows of Darkness from Sierra Online. Thank you for playing Quest for Glory 2 Trial by Fire, and congratulations again on winning! We'll see you again soon in Quest for Glory 3 Shadows of Darkness. Yeah, you're, you're kind of not... You're, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's not, not it. Okay. Ooh. Credits. Jerry Moore, Mr. Science. Cheryl Lloyd, no stress graphics. Doug Herring, only his wit is sharper than his blade. Nate Larson, I taught Mr. Science everything he knows. Eric Kastner, give me some slack. Desi Hartman, I'll be at the candy machine. Dean LaRocca, has anyone got change for a dollar? Velcro Mama, Tamra Dayton. Harry McLaughlin, the Joyzy Boy. Programming. Corey Cole, owner, graduate, and sole employee of the famous programmers correspondence school. Mark Wilden, alleys and plazas are my life. Monty, Monty Python summer replacement. Spellcaster master. Edit, compile, test. Edit, compile, beep. Edit, compile, test. It came from QA. You want me to work how much overtime? Quick and courteous cameo coding. Yeah, I'm giving up on the names. Sound effects. Wambos and thuds. Binks and thweeps. What about meeps? Oh, last game, that's right. Development system. Jeff Stevenson, the whole gang. A uh, bunch of people. And a cast of several. Ooh. And so, as the moon moves slowly through the starry sky above the mountains and desert of Shapir, our hero bids a fond adieu. Adieu to his latest set of adventures and miserable puns. Where will the road lead next? Not to Shadows of Darkness. But wait! There's more to come in the next thrilling saga of Quest for Glory by Lori and Cory. Quest for Glory 3, Shadows of Darkness. Hit, it'll actually be Quest for Glory 4. But first, side quests! Apparently. Something's wrong with the moon. I I I think that uh, there's an odd reflection. Who who's playing with the uh, with the high powered lights? Oh, back to the DOS prompt. Well, I hope you enjoyed the fighters, pa the fighter paladin ending to Quest for Glory two. 
I am going to go try and do the thief ending. Uh, I think I can. I'm not positive, um, but we shall see. Um, until next time, I shall see you uh, in the next episode. Or the next game, if I can't do it. If I can't do it, then uh, you won't see any more of this. If I can do it, you will see another bonus episode. Ooh. See you then.